It's been a long journey, but today is CCP Combat Boots Day. What is up everybody, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I hopefully will talk about the CCP combat boots. So here's the backstory. Ever since they came out, I've been in love with those combat boots for many reasons, which I will touch on later on. But they're so difficult to find used, obviously, right? Because it's a pretty new collection. So there are not too many used pairs out there, right? And retail is 1900 euros on those. And I mean, obviously CCP has always been expensive, right? But I've always thought like you get good value for your money. And you still get good value, obviously, but I think the prices are just, it's hard to justify. So I was really looking for a used pair and there was one on Grailed in my size. By the way, to my knowledge, the newer, like the latest collection, the in-between collection, the footwear fits a bit smaller, right? So I usually used to be a CCP9, but I was looking for those boots in size 10 because everybody said you have to go one size up. Let me check my Grailed on the, on the date. So five months ago, this pair was listed on Grailed and sold, unfortunately, I was too late. Um, seller was in the US, buyer was in the US, and then the guy who bought them relisted them like two months ago, three months ago. And they were still brand new, right? Nobody's more than the tax still attached, everything brand new. So I contacted him and asked him about pricing and we negotiated a bit, but he was really like reluctant to sell them to me, obviously with the grail fees and everything, right? So we didn't really come to an agreement, but I always kept on pushing and then he increased the price to like with every negotiation. So I thought, okay, maybe it's not supposed to happen. So then a couple of weeks ago, let me check when that was. Then exactly one month ago, I posted a story on Instagram, right? Asking if anybody had a CCP9 or a CCP10 in those. I was actually looking for a size 10, but if somebody told me, hey, the nines that fit kind of like a 10, so that would have worked, but yeah. So a couple of people contact contacted me and luckily my friend from CCP Archives, shout out to you, you know who you are reposted my my story and then suddenly like more and more people messaged me and one of the guys who messaged me was actually the seller on Grailed, right? And he said, hey, I think I recognize you. We we uh, sent messages on Grailed, etc. And then we started like negotiating again. <laughs> it was kind of a long journey, I guess, but then we somehow managed like to find a price that works for us. And then I just PayPal'd him the money right to the US. So I was a bit scared, obviously, like with, with those like direct deals, you never know. Yeah, then like three days later, he hasn't sent the package yet. Then he said like, yeah, I'm, I'm moving to a different state. And I don't know, like those kind of messages. And I was like getting a bit worried that something shady is going on. But then luckily next day he sent them. And you know, during those times, shipping takes forever. So that actually was a month ago that he shipped and Yes, they still haven't arrived. One of the one of the main problems also with shipping from the US to Europe or to, to Germany specifically is the customs taxes, right? And the Germans offices, like as you probably imagine them to be, that's exactly how they are, right? They like they check every point and like there's no room for maneuvering. In this case, I really thought it was customs would be so much like with that price, right? And I thought, okay, maybe this time I'll pull a stunt. Right. So let me take a quick detour. I did pull a stunt once on CCP boots as well. And the story was basically, I went to the customs office. They somehow realized what's happening. They pulled me into a back room, like three people interrogating me, like FBI. I felt like a fugitive, you know, it was, it was crazy. And then like we all went through my cell phone basically and my PayPal account and I had to show them like every PayPal transaction that I made like in this month, regardless of that purchase, like every purchase that I made basically. And they asked me on everything. They wanted to see like the messages that I had with the seller and stuff. And it was like a horrible, horrible experience. So I thought, okay, I'll never do that again. And I never did until today. <laughs> and my plan basically was, I'm not gonna tell you what the stunt is, but you can actually, in Germany, I don't know how it is in other countries, but you can tell DHL to do the customs stuff for you. So you basically send your payment uh, receipt or whatever to uh, to DHL and then they handle all that stuff and you pay like 30 bucks extra and then they deliver to you. So that was my plan. Unfortunately, the shoes still haven't arrived, 
right? And today is the first day tracking updated after 10 days. It was stuck for like 10 days at customs. And today it says out for delivery. So I'm super, super excited, super stoked, trying to pass the time until the DHL guy comes, hopefully. It's actually 50-50, right? Either the DHL guy comes, I pay him some hopefully low custom taxes, or they sound like the police or whatever because I cheated my way in. I don't know, a bit scared to be honest, but that's part of the game, I guess. So yeah, today it's just waiting, killing time, and really like, it's, it's kind of a, it feels like my birthday, you know? Like I've been wanting those shoes for so, so long. Today, hopefully the day is finally here. And I thought it would be kind of a cool for you like to hang out with me while we wait, I guess. So yeah, I mean, I'm checking Instagram, everything. By the way, follow me on Instagram if you, it's David Muzir, right? If you, if you don't follow me yet. But yeah, I mean, I have lots to do. Nothing important, but I thought, okay, I could organize my jewelry. This is where I keep my jewelry, by the way. It's like an old cigar box. And then you have all kinds of like crazy jewelry in there. Many different bracelets, rings, etc. Okay, that killed about three minutes. So <laughs> I don't know when, when the guy is gonna come. Honestly, usually it's about one o'clock, which is now actually. So that's usually the time. That's why I thought it might, set, might make sense to film now and hopefully they will arrive. What else could we do? So in the meantime, maybe I can show you the latest sling bag that I'm doing for Skinosh. This is a Colata piece that I took home with me because it had to dry overnight and I really wanted to see how it turns out. Quite beautiful texture. And yeah, this will basically be sling bag one zip, one compartment, but yeah. So the sling bag will be available in Kulata, in Soft Horse and in Dyneema, so three different versions. Um, will probably be on the web shop in a week, maybe two weeks. And I took, I took photos from the Soft Horse version, right? Which I will add it now to kill some time. So the pictures for the web shop basically. Still nothing. So what I've always liked about the the combat boot is I've always liked combat boots in general, right? And I think it's one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic, shoe model that exists, right? Such a big history and so many different models and iterations have been made by different brands. And I think it's a relative like classic model that it's really, it's difficult to put your own spin onto that shoe. There have been obviously different attempts. I personally like the, the Rick Owens combats. Like there are obviously many different versions. I had two pairs in the past. Cool iterations in my opinion, but not next level. And then obviously you have the Andy Molemeister, et cetera. Like everybody has their own version. And I've always been in love with the combat boot, but there was never like this perfect pair where I thought, okay, that's awesome. And when I first saw the CCP combats, I was like, my mind was blown because it, it, that model existed for like, I don't know how many years, right? Forever, basically. And then I always thought every iteration has been made out of that shoe, right? There's not, a, not more creativity out there to elevate that design, if that makes sense. And then I saw those and I was like, wow, this is, I could immediately tell like this is CCP and like the emotion that's in there, it's like, I don't know, like a badass shoe. And yeah, the, the moment I saw them, I was like, I really need to have them at some point. I also love the, the derbies, the officer derbies. They're pretty, pretty awesome. They're definitely on the list as well. But for now, let's hope that the, the package are doorbell. So you won't believe what happened. Doorbell rang, DHL guy came, said I have a package from customs for you. I was so excited and he said 20 bucks uh, for customs, paid immediately, big package. And then I put it up and it was pretty light. I was like, what? 
that can't be true. I didn't order anything else. But then I forgot, like two months ago, I ordered an MA Cross long blazer that came from Australia. It took honestly two months. Beautiful piece, but not my boots, God damn it! So yeah, next week is gonna be a pickups video, so I'll, I'll show you the, the blazer and other stuff that I'm wearing today. For example, new pants, Tom Chrome pants, Tom Chrome shirt. Bought a couple of rig pieces as well, so that will be a cool pickups video, I think, next week. <sighs> Damn it. It's past two o'clock. But according to tracking, it still says that it's on the way, so... I guess we'll have to keep on waiting. Please, please. Oh, the wait is killing me. So the thing is that the DHL guy was already here, but it still says it's out for delivery. Sometimes there's two different drivers, so fingers crossed. And to be honest, like 10 days ago, the last status update was also in delivery, and then it was just delivered to the customs office. Kind of frustrating. Yes, what else could we do? Doorbell! It is here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, a gazillion stickers has been opened a gazillion times. I feel like a child on Christmas. So you can tell they have, the package has been opened and they've looked at it because like usually the customs office, they, oh, that smell. I don't know if you ever bought CCP leather, but the smell, it smells like you're on a farm. So you can immediately tell it's CCP. But yeah, you can tell like the, the package has been opened because customs like they always check, especially with leather, like, what kind of leather it is and if it's allowed to import and stuff like that. But yeah, look at this. Oh, really, really heavy. Incredible construction. So this is the left one and here we have the right one. Here's the tag. Right, size 10, as I said, coarse leather, which is uh, Cordovan, and then color 10, which is the standard black. Extra pair of insoles. CCP makes the best insoles. You can see like they are a bit like perforated and then have like a foam layer, so they're pretty, pretty comfortable. I think those will fit without the extra insoles. And I'm thinking that they are pretty comfortable because of the thick crepe sole, right? But if they are too tight, you can still use the, the insoles. And then here we have the rice bag that we all know, nothing special. Yeah, that's it. Pretty, pretty excited. So I'm not gonna tell you how much I ended up paying at the door, but it was pretty decent. So as you can see, your boy is still here. <laughs> and yeah, it has this like ultra long laces, right? That you basically wrap around like that and then pull them together. So you get an understanding of the texture. This is obviously not the most textured leather, right? As of today, like those, to my knowledge at least, don't exist in like culata or whatever. But that's fine with me, to be honest. Like I, I love this Cordovan leather. What I probably love the most is here the, how it's folded. And hopefully this will be comfortable because usually the folded derby is like really, really hurt my feet. But yeah, if you look at the profile, like it's quite a huge heel, you can see the, beautifully stacked heel and then you have this thick crepe layer at the bottom and then the same here obviously it's stacked the heel is a bit higher right so you're a bit uh, tipped towards the top and then the signature exposed shank and they're called like portable combat boots right which 
because they have this loop here so you can basically hold them i don't know kind of weird but such a beautiful pair i'm so stoked all right so this is basically what's, what the package contained right the extra insoles rice bag and then the tag which is basically basically attached like with this metal and plastic thing here. And yeah, I think it's time to put them on. Now I've heard that it takes forever to open up the laces. Um, let's see how I do on my first try. Let me know down in the comments what do you think about this boot, is that something you would purchase as well? Or do you prefer maybe the, the lower versions, the Officer Derbies, which are pretty dope as well? As you probably have seen, it took me forever to take those on, so I think... But once I wore, I wore them, they're pretty, pretty comfortable. You can really tell that the sole is super soft and also the folding part here didn't hurt my feet. Of course, I haven't worn them all day yet, so I, I don't know, but it, first impression is really, really comfortable. Leather is smooth obviously it's it's sturdy it feels like it the, those will hold up forever but it's still smooth enough to be comfortable i also love the the details like of the laces and just like the color of the laces like this faded green which really goes well i think with the with the black it would be a diff completely different look if those were like solid black laces and i think yeah this color is perfect yeah so all in all super happy with my purchase. My plan is definitely to keep those forever and wear them. And when we're talking about emotional connection to pieces, the emotion I have here with this is so strong. It's like a badass. You feel like a warrior, you know, like protected and you, I mean, those, they are so heavy. <laughs> and I definitely like got a bit taller wearing those as well. So yeah, it's really hard to describe the emotion, but they look like badass shoes. Wearing those, I feel like a badass. So super, super happy with my purchase. Took over a month, was a long journey. Thank you for joining me in that journey, at least for the last day, which was quite the exciting day. I sweat a lot. I think I burned like a million calories just for the excitement with the DHL guy and then the other blazer came, etc. Also pretty happy I got away with my little stunt I pulled with the customs office. I definitely won't do it again. Like there was nerve wracking for me, but yeah, in the end it was worth it. Super cool shoes, incredible quality. And yes, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, new videos coming every Sunday. Hopefully more CCP content in the future. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. More towards like the avant-garde side or uh, more like tech wear running kind of, kind of videos. Next week is definitely gonna be a pickups video where I purchase like a couple of Emmy Cross pieces, as I mentioned, Tom Chrome, Rick Owens, Uniqlo, yeah, so a couple of like smaller but cool, cool pieces and lots of new videos planned. I will definitely do a MA Cross video because I have quite a few blazers now from MA Cross. Recently purchased a deep decode as well and a Adichi Nobel leather jacket. So many different things that will um, come in the next weeks. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.